Namaste, happy holidays. We are in the last few days of preparations before the holidays hit this weekend. And we are at number seven with 100 benefits of yoga. And number seven today, I chose stillness. I thought that would be a great choice given the time of year that we are in. And I know I'm feeling it. And you know, this is a time of year where we are asked, our bodies are asked, our emotions are asked to step up. There's so much more amplification for uh, travel and how we're eating and all of the people, much more socializing, all of the people that we're interacting with gets amplified and Christmas gifts and the creativity involved in purchasing gifts and creating experiences and family and all of that means both the the positive and the negative of gathering with family and just everything gets amplified this time of year and so stillness becomes such a gift and so if you can think about getting to a yoga class or certainly just practicing a little bit of stillness at home but a yoga class will often offer moments of stillness certainly at the beginning of class and at the end and just dropping into those moments and really resting and connecting in with yourself as much as you can this time of the year. And when you go to your yoga class, at the end, they'll do something called Shavasana, where you lay on your back and your palms will be up and you just get to completely relax and be. And where some of you, if you've been to yoga, Sometimes that can be a time where your mind starts to even get busy because you are on to the next thing. And I would just encourage you to just let go and be in it and enjoy it and really take care of yourself, really honor those moments. And when you're home, especially over the next week, as we get through through the new year, if you can just find those little spots, like in the morning when you wake up, before you check your phone, Instagram, email, Facebook, slide up, pull the pillows, you know, bunch the pillows up behind you and close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Like take those breaths and connect in with you. Check in, check in with your body, check in with your emotions, check in with how you're feeling. And if you get a chance to do that throughout the day, just for a few moments, you will see how you'll be able to be more present, more emotionally available, more emotionally strong, more empowered around your family this time of the year. You'll be more creative in figuring out what to get all of your family members and your friends and those, those friends that have everything. You'll be able to feel that connection with what they're wanting and it's like the heart to heart connection. You'll be surprised, like play with that. So, digestion as well because when you take that moment of stillness your whole inner body starts to relax so when we go out we end up eating a lot more and our digestion can get really strained and I mean, sometimes there's weight gain and all of this kind of happens around this time of the year and getting on your mat and doing laying down on your back or dropping into child's pose even just those two, or just sitting quietly, you will start to tune into, how am I feeling? How is my belly? <laughs> Do I really need to eat all of those cookies? Or maybe I need to eat some cookies and it's okay. And kindness for yourself and just indulging a little bit. Yay, we can do it. We can indulge and then we can, we can enjoy the balance. But getting still will give us the wisdom we need to make all of the decisions in the most intelligent, loving, caring way. So number seven, be still, find those moments throughout the day and either in a yoga class or at home, wherever you can get it this time of the year, honor yourself. And I look forward to seeing you for another benefit. And if you want to see any of these other videos that I've been putting together around the other benefits, you can find me at TashaRayYoga.com or on my YouTube channel with the same name, Tasha Ray Yoga. And I'll see you soon.
Namaste.